uh, this is the new Soleco Tau uh, scleral uh, fixated IOL. This is the hydrophobic version of the Soleco Phil SSF. The technique for the implantation of the lens is exactly the same. Uh, and you can see uh, the new IOL injector and the new uh, IOL design. This case was an affiche after complicated cataract surgery. I performed complete vitrectomy inducing PVD and removed the capsular remnants. Unfortunately, I created an iatrogenic retinal tear in the inferior part of the retina. The sclerotomies to take out the plaque uh, are ex located exactly at the same uh, position and the technique to perform them is the same and I'm also taking the plaques out with the 25G serrated uh, forceps. And now you are going to see the new uh, injector, which is superb injector. Um, this lens is a little bit more rigid than the hydrophilic one and needs to be injected so far through a 3mm incision. This is the new IOL design. Uh, it's much easier to, to um, uh, fold into the cartridge and you see this cartridge initially it has an screw to advance the lens into the cartridge and then you unfold the wings of the injector and then you can inject it single-handed. This hole in the, at the tip of the injector helps you to check whether the lens is pinched or not and now you can see that when you advance the lens it unfolds and, and advances quite gently and smoothly and also a very important upgrade is that the, uh, when you inject the IOL, the first plug uh, comes completely straight, so it is uh, super easy to grab and, and to take out. Also, these lens can um, with the new uh, inner optic uh, extensions that have holes, and these holes uh, helps you to do the second hands to make the, the grasping of the plug to take them out much easier. And the lens also this ha has these uh, holes in the lens to mark the position, the bolt, and these new uh, holes are make the, the, the knowing the, the position of the lens much uh, easier. And now I'm taking out the, the, the plugs of the lens. The lens is more rigid, so you need to be a little bit more careful and do this movement slowly because it takes more time for the... Uh, for the T-plug to fold into the tunnel, and then it gets out of the eye quite easily and gently. And now I'm doing the, the other side, uh, in this maneuver, when uh, you do the, the, the second hands uh, most commonly, this inner uh, extension of the plug uh, makes things much easier because you can graph the hole and then uh, make your second grasp of the of the in the center of the T much much easier as well. The plug is also flatter uh, so that uh, you have less risk risk of extrusion and also of breaking it with the forceps because there is uh, less mass of the uh, lens material to be uh, compressed. Despite the enlarged sclerotomies I do, there is no leak because the choroidal puncture is uh, 25G and you can see the new IOL design, the new plug design is quite flat and there is no leak at all. And it makes the closing of the plugs much easier. In this case, I'm creating an inferior uh, endoidotomy because I'm planning to leave uh, air as a tampon aid since I had an um, inferior um, uh, retinal tear. But I'm not concerned about leaving air or gas in these cases because this lens is completely hydrophobic and this is the main advantage of the lens. This is not going to have risk of calcification. And that's it. I think this is a new advance uh, to treat a fakia.